So good morning, students. I'm myself, uh, Vijay Shankar uh, from AC Department, Chevrolet Engineering College. So today we are going to discuss about the binary adherent subtractor and look ahead carry generator. In yesterday class, uh, we already discussed about the, the binary adherent subtractor. It's nothing but a four bit uh, adherent subtractor. Today also start with uh, the same topic with the binary adherent subtractor with extension of a uh, next uh, by using this a look ahead carry generator the look ahead carry generator is nothing but uh, a fast adder so by using uh, the four bit parallel adder or it is a binary adder and subtractor we we'll get a propagation delay from each uh, full adder so to avoid or to rectify the propagation delay we are going to Take that it is by using a look ahead carry generator nothing but a fast adder okay okay see the student the binary adder and the subtractor so in this uh, there is a two mode operations are there that is uh, m is equal to zero the circuit is an adder m is equal to one the circuit is in a subtractor and see here when m is equal to zero the m is equal to zero when m is equal to zero the p exclusive or of zero will get the p value and the full adder receives the value of p the input carry is zero and the circuit performs the a plus b Thing, but it is addition operation the circuit performs the addition operation only okay now when m is equal to one when m is equal to one you can see the b exclusive or of one b exclusive or of one that is a b bar the full adder receives the value of b bar the input carry is one and the circuit performs the a minus b and circuit performs the a minus b following within the same circuit it performs the addition operation by taking off m is equal to zero and it performs the subtraction operation when it takes m is equal to one okay to perform these two operations uh, i change that the binary parallel adder the four bit binary parallel adder with exclusive or gate let us see this is the uh, block diagram we have this is a block diagram with having four full adders full adder one full adder two full adder three and the full adder four okay and see the each full adder taking uh, the each full adder is uh, taking off a uh, first lsb bits to the msb bit the first full adder the full adder one the full adder one is takes the a1 directly so directly it takes the a by a bits a1 a2 a3 and the a4 but we have changed that it is only the subtract value that is which is not the which is not which is the b value the a plus b and a minus b plus operation means directly it take the, the zero only and minus operation means the c in we can take the one value okay let us see here in the first full adder i change the circuit for the b input and the another input as of mode operation the m with the two inputs of exclusive or gate with the two inputs of exclusive or gate see when m is equal to zero when m is equal to zero we are saying that as uh, it performs the operation of a plus b means c in will get the zero and m is zero one of the input of exclusive or gate is a zero another input is uh, from the b values that is b1 b2 b3 and the b4 so first of all exclusive or gate uh, gets uh, when taking off m is equal to zero and the b1 as a, another input uh, the value is b1 only so first full adder takes the a1 value and the b1 and the c in is equal to zero whatever that we are given to the m is equal to zero value 
So after performing this uh, fully under as addition operation by taking off A1 and the B1 and the Cn is equal to zero, it gets sum S1 and the carry C1. Sum S1 and carry C1. Okay. Then that C1 is given to the second full ladder and that second full ladder is taking the another inputs A2 and the B2. But when M is equal to zero, the second exclusive or gate also will get the B2 only by taking off a B2 exclusive or of zero, will get the B2. So again, it performs the operation of a full add addition operation by a2, B2 and the C1, it generates or it gives the response of S2 as a sum and carry is a C2. And carry is a C2. Okay. Then the C2 is connected to the next full ladder, naming it as a full ladder 3. Full ladder 3. And that full ladder 3 is taking another 3, 2 bits of a and the B, A3 and the B3. So the exclusive OR gate is connected to the one of the input is a B3, another input is a M. We are performing the addition operation M is equal to zero. The B3 exclusive OR of zero, it becomes of a B3 one. So taking off C2 as a carry, A3 and the B3 of the input values from A and the B. The full adder three is also performed the addition operation. It gets the S3 and the C3. It's the S3 and C3. Okay. That C3 is connected to the next full ladder, the full ladder 4. The full ladder 4. You see there? In the full ladder 4 also, it takes the MSB bits. That MSB bits are A4 and the B4. In the A and the B, A4 and the B4, and here also the B4 is connected to the exclusive or get one of the input, and another input is M is equal to zero. So B4 and the M is equal to zero, it performs the exclusive or operation, then it gives the B4 on. So the full ladder four, it performs the addition operation by taking off A4, B4, and the C3, it generates S4 and the C4. It generates a S4 and C4. Okay, my dear friends. Then finally, we got uh, the sum is uh, S1, S2, S3, S4, and the C4 is uh, the nothing but the C out. Uh, that C out is a carry. Fine. So, an addition operation, the exclusive or operation is uh, exclusive or gates, all the exclusive or gates, the output getting the same value b1 b2 b3 and the b4 now coming to the to perform the subtraction operation by using the circuit subtraction operation by using the circuit the mode operation is m is equal to 1 i can take the m is equal to 1 when m is equal to 1 that m value is connected to all, all the exclusive or gate as a second input the another one of the input is from the B value, so that is B1, B2, B3, and the B4. That you can see in the LSB, the first full ladder is getting C in is equal to one. C in is equal to one. Why is C in is equal to one? We are performing the subtraction operation A minus B. So A minus B means you uh, know A minus B is A plus the complement of B plus one. So changing of the B value to the two's complement. First of all, it is a one's complement means B bar. All the binary values changes rounds to the zeros and the zeros to ones. And add one to the LSB bit is converted into the two's complement. So adding of A plus B bar plus one is equivalent of A minus B. The first bit, sir, the full ladder one takes A1 as a one bit, A1 as a one bit, and another bit is B1 bar. Why you are getting the B1 bar? That is the exclusive R operation 
by taking of b1 and the 1 now. the mode operation is 1 now b1 exclusive or of 1 is b1 bar b1 exclusive or of 1 is a b1 bar so the first full adder 1 performs the operation of a subtraction operation in that subtraction operation it takes a1 as a one bit and the b1 bar and the c1 is equal to c in is equal to 1 okay the full adder takes off a1 another input as a b1 bar and c in is equal to 1 now we will get the a minus b nothing but simply okay so full adder 1 again gives a s1 and the c1 s1 and the c1 the second full adder fa2 taking off c1 and another two inputs a2 and another inputs a2 and the b2 bar b2 bar how we get the b2 bar b2 with exclusive or of one so second full adder takes the a2 b2 bar and the c1 it generates the s2 and c2 it generates the s2 and c2 then that c2 is given to the fa3 and that fa3 another two inputs are a3 and the b3 bar a3 and b3 bar so b3 is one of the input of exclusive or gate and another input is a one so b1 exclusive or of one will get the b1 b3 bar so f3 fa3 full adder 3 takes a3 b3 bar and the c2 as inputs and generates a s3 and c3 okay s3 and c3 i'm seeing here the c3 is there here and s3 this generates a s3 as a sum and c3 is a carry c3 is a carry then c3 is given to the fa4 nothing but full adder 4 it takes another msb bits is there a4 and the b4 bar okay the output of the last exclusive or gate is a b4 bar a4 b4 bar and the c3 it performs the addition operation it generates the s4 and the c4 s4 and c4 so using this uh, circuit we can perform addition operation as well as subtraction operation also by simple changing of uh, b1 as a one of the input of the each full adder convert as uh, with the exclusive or gate of one of the input and we can another input is connected to the mode operation and mode is equal to zero b1 x b exclusive or of zero is a b it performs the addition operation and m is equal to one the b exclusive or of one will get the b bar means all the input all the bits of the b will get converted into the complement b bar it performs the subtraction operation all right so that is a logical diagram of four bit binary parallel adder and the subtractor now you go for the another topic uh, that is a look ahead carry generator look ahead carry generator you see why we are going to the look ahead carry generator means it is also called as a fast adder so by using the four bit parallel adder parallel subtractor or four bit parallel adder and subtractor you can see every in each stage in each stage every full adder is taking a waiting for the carry of the previous full adder output means it takes a some example you can say the nanoseconds let us and the third full adder is waiting for the second full adder carry and fourth full adder is waiting for the third full adder output of the carry okay there is a, some delays occurs that delay is increases uh, step by step uh, from each uh, full adder so there is uh, some drawback is there it gets uh, some delay by per after uh, get the output uh. so for this uh, to avoid that uh, propagation delay we are going for the look ahead carry generator is also called as a fast adder means the second full adder is not waiting with the first full adder output carry and the third full adder is uh, not waiting the second full adder output of carry it directly taking off whatever the input carry is at the scene 
all the full data is depends upon the input carry of the CN only. So how we can change this uh, CN values uh, in terms of uh, CR, C, C2 in terms of CN, C1 in terms of CN, and C3 in terms of CN, and the C4 is also in terms of the CN. Let us see in the look at carry generator. The parallel adder, the speed with which an addition can be performed is governed by the time requires for the carries to propagate or ripple through all the stages of adder. The look at carry adder speeds up the process by eliminating this ripple. Ripple carry delay. It examines all the input bits simultaneously. The method of speeding up the process is based on the two additional functions of the full adder called the carry generate and the carry propagate. Okay, the method of speeding up the process. Whatever the delay is occurs there in the full adder, not the full adder, binary parallel adder. The, to speed up the process is based on the two additional functions of the full adder. Called it as carry generate and the carry propagate. See, we already know the full adder is designed by using the half adders. Full adder is designed by using the half adders. Let us see this is the full adder circuit by using half adders. It requires a two half adders and the one R gate. Hope everybody is visible the screen what I shared. Half adder one and the half adder two. In the half adder one, you can see there is a two inputs are there. The two inputs, the two inputs are A N and the B N. B suffix N. And the first full adder uh, excludes or gate uh, output is a P N. And end gate output is a GN. End gate output is a GN. The GN we can call it as a carry propagate, carry generate, and the PN is a and carry propagate. That gives to the second half adder is there, half adder to one of the input of the exclusive OR gate. And one OR gate is also required to design the full adder by using the half adder. We can see the carry generate. The additional functions we have that is a carry generate and the carry propagate. First of all, see the carry generate. Consider one full adder stage of a stage, nth stage of a parallel adder carry is to generate only if both the input bits are one. Only if both the inputs are one. Carry generate. End gate means uh, both the inputs is one only, that is then only generates a carry. Any one input is a zero, the end gate output is a zero. Okay, when we'll get the carry is generate, uh, both the inputs are one. Let us see. In the full adder, we design that it is a, by using the two half adders and one R gate. In the one half adder, there is an end gate is there. From that end gate, uh, there is a carry is generated. Okay, by taking off two inputs. The two inputs are A and the B. Nothing but A and B, let us see. A and B are the inputs. When it generates a carry, if both the inputs are one, both the inputs of AND gate are one, then only it generates a carry. Otherwise, it is a zero one. Okay, that is, if both the inputs are A and B are, is a carry, has to be generated in this stage regardless of whether the input carry CN is a zero or a one. CN is a zero or one, means a full adder having the three bits. In that three bits, CN is a, either it is a zero or one, whatever it is, but the carry is generated when both the inputs A and B are one, one. So irrespective of the carry there, if both the inputs are one, one, then the carry is generated. If G is carry generator function, you can see in the circuit here, if G is the carry generator, I name it as here the half adder one GN. Okay. And that GN is, is equal to AN and the BN. Okay. I'm taking only simply that is a G is equal to A into B. 
the present bit as the nth bit the present bit is the nth bit then g rewrite as a gn is equal to an into bn following my students so that is a first end gate output the carry generate an and the bn by taking off the two inputs of an and the bn then and carry propagation carry propagation that is output of exclusive or gate p suffix n the carry is propagated if any one of the two inputs any one of the two input bits a or b a or b are zero any one of the bits a or b are zero a carry will never be propagated a carry will never be propagated we already discussed about that if any one of the input is a zero the carry is not generated following the carry is propagated if any one of the two inputs of the bits a and b are the zero a carry will never be propagated on the other hand if both the inputs a and b are one then it will not propagate the carry but will generate the carry it will not propagate the carry but will generate the carry if p if p is taken as if p is taken as b is p is equal to a exclusive or of b p is a exclusive or of b so when the carry is generated any one of the input both the inputs is one or okay it is not propagated it carry is generated the present bit is the nth bit the p is rewrite as a pn is equal to an exclusive or of pn okay for final sum and carry outputs uh, for this final sum and carry outputs you can see of the nth stage uh, sum is equal to pn exclusive or of cn you see in this uh, circuit uh, the sum sn is equal to that is exclusive or of uh, another exclusive or of gate uh, output uh, with one input is uh, pn another input is there here you write here the cn so there is a mist here so sn is equal to pn exclusive or of uh, cn pn exclusive or of uh, cn then c cn nothing but the cn is a carry but cn is equal to i am taking as a cn plus 1 cn plus 1 you see in the circuit uh, this is a cn plus 1 one of the input for the r gate is a gn and another input is from the and gate the and gate inputs are one input is a cn another input is a pn means cn plus 1 is equal to gn plus pn into cn pn into cn let us see the equation here so gn plus pn into cn what is a pn that is a carry propagator a pn is nothing but an exclusive or of a bn an exclusive or of bn following my students an exclusive or of bn and what is a gn gn is an into bn so finally the cn plus 1 is equal to an bn plus an exclusive or of bn into cn that is a cn plus 1 following my students so based on these expressions for the carry outs of the various full adders of various full adders now i am taking that n is equal to 1 when n is equal to 1 or the n is equal to 1 first of all you can take it is n is equal to 0 my dear students when n is equal to 0 when n is equal to 0 rewrite this is not the n is equal to 1 this is n is equal to 0 substitute here the n is equal to 0 c 0 plus 1 nothing but c 1 c 0 plus 1 nothing but the c1 
C1 is equal to n is equal to zero means G zero plus P suffix zero P suffix zero plus and C suffix is zero. And finally, it is see the final expression of CN plus one is the AN, BN plus AN exclusor of BN and the CN. So substituting of N is equal to zero, it becomes of uh, C1 is equal to, why it is C1? N is equal to zero means zero plus one is a one. C1 is equal to A0, B0 plus A0 exclusor of B0 into C0. Okay, C suffix zero that is. Then the second equation, the n is equal to one, my dear student, it is n is equal to one. Don't think that is n is equal to two. n is equal to one, then only the c becomes of c2. n is equal to one, and this becomes of c1 plus one is a c2, that is equal to g1 plus p1 into c1. g1 plus p1 into c1. Okay, and what is a C1? C1 is a C1 is nothing but G0 plus A exclusive nor of B or otherwise they take the first equation here G0 plus P0 into C0. Substitute that C1 as a G0 plus P0 into G0 plus P0 into C0 that is multiplied with the C1. That is multiplied with the not the C1, P1. Okay. So finally, you can see here the G1 is there. P1 is multiplied with G0, P1, G0. And P1 is multiplied with the second term that is P0 and C0. Then it becomes of P1, P0 and the C0. Following. I take this the C1 is equal to G0 plus P0 into C0 is multiplied with the P1 here. Okay. Then the C1 with C2 becomes uh, G1 plus P1 G0 plus uh, P1 P0 into C0. And then when n is equal to 2 here, my dear students, not the 3a, n is equal to 2. n is equal to 2. So n is equal to 2 means uh, Cn plus 1 becomes of C3a. So G2 plus uh, P2 into C2. What is a C2? We got a G1 plus P1, G0 plus P1, P0 and C0. You can substitute that and multiply with the P2. So see here, G2 plus P2 and the G1 because this total function is multiplied with the P2. So P2 with the G1 is a P2, G0, G1. P2 with the second term is P1, G0, P2, P1, G0 and P2. 2 is suffix uh, multiplied with the P1, P0, C0 is becomes of P2, P1, P0 and the C0. So total function will get uh, after multiplying the P2 with uh, C2. And the last one we can see here, when n is equal to 3, my dear student, it's not the 4, n is equal to 3. When n is equal to 3, the Cn plus 1 becomes of uh, C3 plus 1, that is a C4. C4 and G N is a G3 and P N is a P suffix 3 and C N is a C suffix 3. Okay. So now we can substitute the C3. Now we can substitute the C3 and multiply the P suffix 3. You see there P, P suffix 3 with a G2 plus P suffix 3 with uh, P2 and G1. P suffix 3 with the third term, you can multiply the P2, P1, G0. Uh, and P suffix 3 is multiplied, the last term is uh, P2, P1 and uh, C0. Okay. So the final expression of uh, C4, when n is equal to 3, G suffix 3 plus uh, P suffix 3, G2 plus P suffix 3, P2, P, G1 plus P suffix 3, P2, P1, G0 plus P suffix 3, P2, P1, P0 and the C0.
Okay, these are the four equations we got. Uh, when n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, you can substitute. We'll get as a C1, C2, C3, and C4. Now you can observe the C1, C1 is depends upon uh, C0 only, and C2 is also depends on the C0 only, and C3 is also depends on the C0, and C4 is also depends on the C0. Okay, it is not depends upon the previous uh, carry. C4 is not depends on C3, and C3 is not depends on C2, and C3, C2 is not depends upon the C1. All equations is converted into the C0 only in terms of C0. So the general expressions for the n stages is uh, the Cn is equal to Gn minus 1 plus Pn minus 1 and the Cn minus 1. So no need of this one function. See so all the equations what we got the C1. See the logical diagram of uh, C1 is uh, let us see the C1 equation. C1 is equal to A0, B0 plus a not exclusive or b not into c not. This is an equation you can substitute in this. See so the c1 is equal to c1 is equal to g not not the g not p not into c not p not into c not. You see this equation. This one c1 is equal to g not in plus p not into c not. G naught plus P naught into C naught. Directly you can connect it as a P naught, C naught as an end gate, and G naught is a another input of the R gate. That is a C1. Following. And C2 is also C. The C2, what is the C2 equation? C2 is equal to G1 plus P1, G naught plus P1, P naught, and C naught. How many? And gates is required here for P1, P0, C0 with the three input and gate, and P1, G0 is another two input and gate, and is directly connected as G1, and all these three terms is connected to the R gate. So see for C2, two and gates are there. But the first and gate is P1, G0. So I connected the P1 and the G0, and second. And gate is uh, three inputs. Uh, the three inputs are P1, P0, and C0. P1, P0, and C0. And third input is there uh, directly. I'm connected to C1. So C2 will get. Like that, uh, C1, C2, C3, and the C4 is a logical diagram. Logical diagram we have. And substitute this logical diagram in the block diagram of the lookout carry generator. Lookout carry generator. There is an IC like look like the IC here. So C2, C3, C4, and C5. Okay. And the C1. C1, C2, C3, C4, like that. So directly we connect this internal diagram in terms of B4, P4, G4, P suffix 3, G suffix 3, P2, G2, P1, and the G1. This is Whatever we seen the previously the logical diagram, that logical diagram is totally inside this IC. Inside this IC. Following. So G1 and P1, let us see the G1 and the P1. And G1 and the P1 will get in this equation here. G1, P1. So for the C2, G1 and the P1. Now see, the G1 and P1 will get from the A1 and the B1 and C1 only. Okay. And finally, that P1 is connected to the another exclusive R gate here. That is a second half adder. Second half adder excludes or gate and P2, Z2 already is connected for the C2 with A2, B2, and the C2 is already there. And C2 with another P2 here and P suffix 3, G suffix 3 by taking off A3 and B3 as the inputs. 
that C3 is in terms of C1 only. And similarly,